This one's going to be on Tarman is an archive manager uh, with a curse interface. So if you don't want to create archives uh, using your command line options, you can use this one, which you just use your hotkeys mostly to, um, you know, create archives or extract it and all that. So I'll give you an example. We'll use, um, we'll run the command Tarman after you install it. Uh, just run Tarman. And pretty simple, you know, use up and down arrow to navigate to the files that you want. Uh, if you want to get more hotkeys, you can use uh, shift and question mark. Or if you don't want to use the question mark, you can use um, what is that? either H, question mark, or uh, F1. And I'll show up this uh, help window here. And basically in this help window is all the hotkeys that you need to know. Right? So C is for creating archives, E is for extract, so on and so forth, like Q is to quit. Uh, you can read the rest, right? Anyways, um, let's create an archive. We'll hit escape to get out of this box here. Escape. And let's say we want, um, let me see, this uh, image file. So I'll hit space on this one. I'll hit space on this business one. And let's say this image one, hit space. And this doc file, hit space here. So we have four files that we want to create an archive out of. So now all you got to do is hit C. And by default, um, it'll create a, a tar.gz file. So the default name is new archive.tar.gz. And if you want to confirm it, you just hit enter. Or if you want to escape out of this, you you know you hit escape to cancel. Um, but anyways, we'll we'll hit enter to confirm it. And that's it. We created archive, right? But where is it at? So let's uh list it out here. So we'll list it out, and here's our archive um, that we just created. And you can use Tarman also or some other programs to see the list. So we do Tarman new archive here. And you see that four file that we created, right? It's in here. If you want to extract all of them, you hit, uh, you know, space on all of them uh, to extract it. But uh, if you want to just extract like one or two files only, let's say these two files here, just business and inland file only, uh, you can do that. And you hit E, and then it'll tell you to create a new folder here. So whatever you want to call the folder, we'll call this one um, Junko spell it right here Junko and I'll extract it to a Junko folder all right so we'll quit out of this quit it again and we'll list it out again and here it goes this is our Junko folder uh, you can list the junk folder out and we have those two uh, files that we wanted to extract right pretty simple it's not that hard for creating archives and extracting it now by default it, you know it creates a uh, tar.gz file but you can actually use it uh, some other extension like uh, tar file only no gz and also a zip file i'll probably say use zip files if you want it to be universal um so you can work on other platforms and all that so let's do that again here but creating a zip file tarman and let's say we want to use um i don't know these two image this one and this pdf file whatever right so we do uh, hit C for create, right? And right here for the the was it the file name here? You can either change the extension or the file name itself if you want. So for example, this one we'll call this one I don't know YouTube, right? Dot zip or something, and that's it. We created a YouTube dot zip, so you can list it out again. And here we go. This is our YouTube dot zip here. So if I want to extract that, I can use um man YouTube.zip here and I just select all the files I want to extract and I hit E and what we're gonna call this one we'll call this one uh, testing right whatever or right, it's our folder name and that's it it will say extract to testing and we'll quit out of that and now we have a new folder called testing um, we'll list out the testing folder and this is all our files that we uh, had in our archive. So anyways, that's pretty much it for the whole program. There's only one feature um, or one option I believe they're missing and then that's the delete option, okay? So for example, if I do Tarman here, right? And we created two archives in here, like this YouTube archive, we'll hit enter in that. Like, let's say if I have a uh, zip file or a tar file or tar.gz file or something like that, and I want to go in here and delete it, there is no option to do that. It's only extracting it and, you know, kind of inconvenience 
But if you look at the hotkeys, there's no way to delete this. And that's the only thing I have an issue with it. But everything else I do like, you know, for adding and extracting it real simple uh, without using any command line options. But they're missing the delete option. Anyways, check it out if you don't want to use the command line and use, you know, you're into the text user interface to create your archives. This can be a good solution, right? That'll be it for this one.